there's, 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 there is a motel and a cheap one at that. It's called my bedroom. <laughs> Steve! Yeah, you know, they give the, the biggest monsters, the like, the most normal names. Oh, remember yesterday, that guy, the shark, in the tub, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> Before I- There will be no return from this point, are you ready? Yeah, you yeah, betcha. You betcha. Yeah. Dude, I need this is my chair. Who said that? This is my chair. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, wait. I was wait. just pushing up my glasses. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, shush, shush, shush. Did it record already? Yeah, it started already. Thirty oh, seconds. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna get it out anyway. I can cut it out. Okay. I'm a, I'm a master, uh, editor? master editor. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, oh look, a quick survey. Ever. Yeah, I need to do you, it. Uh, yeah, it's you. I forgot. Would you ever date a man five eight or shorter? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yes. What? <laughs> that was literally it. I thought it was like a longer this survey. This looks scary. It's fine. It's the back roads. Oh, you have to read it. Why well, I gotta read it? Should you were playing? Okay, yeah, I'm playing. You have to read it. Oh my god, it's a foggy night's drive in the rain, but you're in a good mood. Of I course, am in you a are. Good mood. Go. Oh. What does it say? Credence? Yeah, Clearwater. Credence Clearwaters. It came out of the sky, blares on the radio. Oh, it's a song. You be the radio. You're the radio. Oh my god, he ran all the way to town. Can you sing it? I'm, I'm not singing shit! Okay. Go. Screaming in... What? Screaming. Oh, screaming. It came out of the sky. Opening call. Sky. Sky. One more? Sky. One more? Oh. Huh? <laughs> hit your radio or change the radio channel. I'm gonna change it. Why? Why would, I, why? Hit the, why would I hit the radio? But I liked it. Oh, to fix it. Yeah, because it kept saying sky. Yeah, wouldn't you have wanted to fix it? To keep hearing sky. Oh, I thought that that was just the song. You turn the radio to a different channel. Cause guys get. What the? Cause guys get. Cause again. <laughs> <laughs> you should bust this bro. looks scary i don't want to play this it's fine it's just like a yeah i think it's an ai picture or something you're an ai picture your radio is blasting static at full stop stupid thing <laughs> you try to turn off the radio but the sound continues you break your car guess what's gonna happen you break your car Stan's gonna come out the woods and be like, you need your car fixed? I hope he does. He's gonna have the tightest shorts on. Oh, yeah. I need my oil changed, buddy. Oh, ain't no way. Ugh. Look, that, that's, it, that's it right there. That's me getting my oil changed? No. Oh. That's me saying, ew. This Ugh. looks scary, Didi. Why did you it's put this on? It's not a scary on? game. I'm telling you. It's the actual Wait, game. Wait, what did I do? You just went to the save. You right Okay, click. there we go. Your warning lights start to flicker intensely. Your height... Headlights and interior lights blast on and off. But your your car is I busted. What kind of old ass car do I have? Oh What's wait, it's on? Gravity Falls. Oh, yeah, oh my God! Go Oopsies. go. Slam the brakes of your car in fear. Scared, but okay. You're the one who said it was scary. <laughs> Where's Dan? <laughs> That's all I care your about. Your car comes to a halt. You turn it off, and everything goes quiet. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if we just turn it back on, it'll. You attempt to turn your car back on. Yeah, not turning on. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. The car does not turn back on. Right. The main road isn't too far from here. I'll run. What am I running from? <laughs> I'm going in my car. I'm going back in my car. Oh wow! You decide to try and hunker down and wait till morning in your car. I mean, hell yeah. Okay, the temperature outside isn't too rough. And at least you're- At least here you're safe from the rain. Oh, it was raining, I forgot. Yeah. You lean the seat back and start to close your eyes. And then Bill Cipher knocks on your window. Right. Watch. Stop. Don't be right, please. <laughs> Who was it? 
be hawks. Gravity Falls, you never know. What the fuck is happening, I'm telling Bill Cypher, he's gonna knock at your door and he's gonna be like, Stop. Hey, uh, you wanna make a deal? That's what he's gonna Ew. say. That's your greatest impression of Bill? Yeah, I'm not a guy. Can you read it, please? Right, you're, <laughs> you're woken by the sound of something. <gasps> oh my god! I told you it was- <laughs> Why would be like a mothman or something? You see something too tall to be human, but too human to be shaped- what? But too human shape, shape to be anything, anything else. else. I'm sorry, I can't read. Damn! Okay, calm down. Go. It darts off into the woods. Okay, don't follow it, idiot. Nah, it's gonna give you the option. Watch. I don't really want to stay here anymore. I'm gonna make a run for the road and see if I can flag someone down. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Because that thing is just gonna tickle your toes at night while you're sleeping in your car. Right. After some amount of running, jogging, and speed walking, all of them, you reach the main road soaked and, and tired. Okay. Can you of wait? course it starts raining harder the moment I step out of the car. No. What's that? I'm kidding. Bro. <laughs> you walk a bit more before you spy some headlights in the distance. Your dream might come true. You try to make yourself more visible. This looks too scary. Make yourself look, so, like, attractive, you know? So you can pick you up. I mean, Stan will pick anyone up. He flips oh. with Lazy Susan, so... She's not bad. <laughs> the car flashes its lights at you before slowing, slowly pulling over. Uh oh, about to see him. Uh oh, the car window rolls down and you're greeted by the sight of a very jovial man, looking man. Greetings. <laughs> it's the other guy though. It's not. I wanted Stanford. Oh. oh I'm so happy. Okay. <clears throat> Broke the sound by. barrier I'm there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Like greetings. Greetings. I didn't know that was. Oh, I guess it was I just told that you, one you part. Dummy. Look, he's okay. I'll be him then. Excuse me. You look like you're having some trouble there. It's certainly not the best weather for a nighttime stroll. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me in your car. Stop. <laughs> yes, you can. <clears throat> can I offer you a ride? Something about his demeanor feels off. Almost as if this guy is excited to have found you here. He's gonna experiment on. Me. Oh, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You should let it happen too. Talk. Examine or talk? I mean, there's not much to examine. I'm gonna talk to you. Oh my god. Where are you? Oh, that's you. That's you. Where are you headed? <laughs> I'm on my way to a, sm to a small town a ways north of here called Gravity Falls. How am I going there? I can take you along with me if you need. You don't remember seeing a Gravity Falls on your map? Uh oh, you had to do it anyway. Anyways. The car is a gremlin? <laughs> it's a little hard to see, but the man appears to be riding alone. He looks to be in a good mood. Yeah, clearly. Greetings! There's an odd blue light dangling f from his rearview mirror, and his dashboard indicates the time is now 11.10. Oh, yeah, I'm not being out at 12 a.m. in the car. Okay. I'm really walking for over an hour. And running. That doesn't feel right. And speed walking. And speed walking. <laughs> Ask about Gravity Falls, except his arm. I mean, I don't really care. Bro. But whatever. You know, I don't recall seeing any gravity falls on my map. Your statement seems to shock him. Oh. Well, it's a bit of an out there sort of place. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got it. He turns the interior lights of his car on, then opens his glove compartment and pulls something out. Here. Holds up a postcard. It's a little hard to see. You can make out Gravity Falls in large font and not much else. I apologize for not handing this to you, <laughs> but I don't want it out in the rain. <laughs> I can put it back. I can put it in the back seat if you like. I'm not sitting in the back seat. I'm sitting next to you. Oh my gosh. Right. Rain. The rain that I'm currently standing in. His car seems more inviting every second you spend out here. Offer. Yeah, let me examine in. the car. Let me read all of them. I think I'll take. <laughs> I think I'll take you up on your offer. Thanks. I'm not getting in the fucking car now. <laughs> Why? Because he's too happy. He's the gonna. The man's on face me. brims with excitement. Oh great! Just ah! one moment. He opens what the, the hell? car door for me. Wait. Wait the what? The driver's seat. Am I driving? Why did he? Okay, what? read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. He opens the door and steps out of his car <laughs> into the rain. He's wearing a, ta a tan trench coat. A simple shirt and tie underneath. So, it's raining buckets now, but he's in good spirits despite the drops pelting him. 
He holds the door for you and gestures to the car, smiling. This is too much. Come in, come in. Feel free to make yourself comfortable, but I ask that you please sit in the back. I've got quite a few of my belongings in the passenger seat. Uh oh, okay. guess you can't sit next to him. Bruh. He could have moved that shit to the back. That's what I'm saying. Put that shit in the back. The a f f calculator and a journal. I don't know if that's a calculator. That looks. This is a radio, a tape recorder. Yeah, right. Oh, right. He's recording this. Oh. As you climb in, you notice papers strewn about, maps with locations circled and crossed off, a large red book, and what seems to be an active tape recorder. Yikes. You're getting kidnapped. Buddy. No, okay, and? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was you. I'm sorry. Oopsies. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. That feels worrisome. Oh, no. Too little, too late now. I'm gonna try and forget I saw that and just be happy I got out of the rain. You're gonna get into his experimentation lab. Mm. He's gonna cut you open. You see the postcard for Gravity Falls placed on the back seat. Thought it was the rain and lack of light before, but the card really does only say Gravity Falls. Front or back. Weirdo. Guess there's nothing to see there. Right. You're dumb. This isn't me. Your new friend hops back into the car and starts it up. New I'm friend? Oh, he's staring right at me. Okay. Oh, wow. Interior car, 11.20 p.m. Dramatic. I have to talk, talk first. first. I'm not, no, he's, That's the he's, only choice. He's staring right at me. He That's can talk to me. the only choice, bro. Oh, well, thanks for help. There was <laughs> Go back. Are you fucking kidding? Comment on his outfit. Thank you for picking you up and ask about him. Wait, no. How do I go back? What do you mean? You just roll back with the scroll wheel. No, stop touching I want to see how long until he talks. <laughs> He's not going to. Okay, what was the thing that popped up then? When you press it, it gave you the other three options. See, look, do it again. Look, oh, okay. That's what it was. Comment on his outfit. Thank you for picking you up. Ask about my outfit. You said that? Go ahead. I mean, yeah, it's kind of making me a little uncomfortable. Just, yeah. You know, <clears throat> the outfit you have on feels really familiar to me. Huh? He seems taken aback that you chose to speak to him, but recovers. Oh, um, that's so. Yeah, you ever seen that TV show with the scruffy detective? Yeah, which one? Is it detective. called that TV show? Oh, Pla Palumbo. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I don't even remember. He looks even more taken aback than before. Palumbo. He looks down at himself and furrows his brow. I suppose I can understand them. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> oh, but just one more thing. You see a hint of a smile in his eyes. I don't look that scruffy, do I? Oh look homeless. God. Stop it. Car. Oh my god. You grin at him. And then? What's he get jump scared? Oh. Oh! <laughs> You both sit in silence for a moment before he looks at you. <clears throat> so, what are you- <laughs> This is so uncomfortable. But what had you wandering the road at this time of night? Car troubles? You just said it. Car troubles? <laughs> you wonder whether or not to tell him the whole truth about your car. Something weird happened. I ran out of gas. No, I'm gonna tell him. Something weird happened. Something like that. Oh, yeah, because, you know. I yeah. To, you know. It was the craziest thing. Everything was working just fine. Then suddenly, there must have been some kind of weird electrical short. And then, like, like a demon in the woods. But, you know. We're, we're probably going to get to that. Flashing lights, radio, the whole works. I shut my car off to get it to stop. But when I tried to get to get it to turn back on, nothing. Driver perks up in his seat a little. Okay, oh, don't yeah. get a little too excited. Calm down. <laughs> like, ooh, science. An electrical short. I'm getting hard. Hey, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! He spoke curtly and quietly. You presume that was more to him. More to. What? That was more to himself than yeah, to than you. Yeah, than to you, yeah. I, I totally had. He glances for a moment at the seat next to him before returning his eyes to the room. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sure you're gonna want to visit a repair shop after in a, in a, an ordeal like that. <laughs> Yo, why don't we not know his name yet? We're in his car. That's what I'm saying. Like, tell me your fing name. Yeah, is there one in Gravity Falls? Well, because we chose to compliment his outfit rather than ask about him. <laughs> there is! Eureka! Oh, that's a 
literally, if I... You won't be able to speak to anyone there, though. Oh my god. You make it sound like that. You feel your heart sink into your gut, a feeling you didn't even know was possible. And... Why is that? I'm a fr- Oh, whoops. I'm afraid they're all on vacation. <laughs> It'll be a week before it's open again. Week? Oh, that's the- the game is- You literally said it! You feel like you might start crying in this stranger's car. I'm not serious. It's never that serious, bitch. I'm sorry. Are there Ooh. any hotels in this town? <laughs> What's to offer you? There's there's, oh. there's, 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 there's a motel. And a cheap one at that. It's called my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you start to feel a little better. Maybe there's a glimmer of hope for you after all. Hell no. Right. You won't be able to get a hold of the stuff there either. Wow. Can you stop, like, Why jerking me? Give us these me right options. Now. That's what I'm saying. The man looks back at you in the mirror, your mouth hanging open. I apologize, but... Um, they're on vacation, too. He's, he murdered everyone in the f***ing town. Yeah. Is the whole darn town on vacation? Darn. Yes, actually. You had the misfortune to arrive here right at the start of Ditch Your Job for a Week Week. My god. Dot dot dot. Making that up. Except what he says. Uh -oh. I mean, it's Gravity Falls. But what if you say he's making it up? He's gonna get angry. He's gonna get mad at me. Uh oh. Can I save Do him? Do whatever you want, bro. I oh, you wanna save? Go ahead. Yeah, right I don't click. want him to get mad at me. Right click. Right click. You could just right click. I don't wanna do all that. But you're doing more by going down to say. I'm gonna say you're making it up. That can't be real. You're just messing with me, aren't you? Uh. Please don't. What are you about to do? He laughs and points to the right side of the front windshield. See for yourself. Oh, I thought he was about to say, get the fuck out of my car. Oh, I, th I thought he was <laughs> going to say, yeah, I'm joking. Ditch your job for a week, week. <laughs> Give productivity the axe starting now. Yeah, right now. That's literally they the They made guy. a whole billboard for that? Oh, yeah, that takes yeah, a long buddy. time. Outside, you see a flash of a billboard with a large cartoon lumberjack in novelty sunglasses. Stop it! He's tossing away his axe with one hand and holding a blue drink in the other. Blue drink. It reads what you just said earlier. Get moving on. Drink. You moan. Like groan. Like ugh. Uh. Well, you, they said moan. All right. So I try. Yeah, he looks at you because you moan. Oh, I was supposed to read. Car. Whoopsies. Yeah, you dingle. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Yo. You know, if you What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? You know, I need a place to stay. I can offer you a room in my cabin. <laughs> it may be a little dusty, but I do have a spare. <laughs> you keep taking too long. I'm sorry. I, I'm I think that would be nice. Oh. I saw her. In a way. And you don't have anywhere else to go. Think. What's the worst that can happen? He straps you down to an experiment chair and starts cutting you open? Yup. What if you're a murderer or something? He's gonna laugh at that too. You didn't mean to say that last bit out loud. Thinking. He's thinking about whether or not he's a murderer? Or how to, like, get you to trust him. Look down on the floor of the seat next to you. If there's a severed hand or something down there, I'm opening the car door and jumping. He doesn't have a safety lock or something. You look down hesitantly. Uh, there's an aerosol can rolling around. You pick it up and get a closer look. I guess... Is he trying to... I... I'm, I'm so confused. Is he trying to make it seem like, oh, I'm harmless because I like to kill bears? No, because he has protection towards bears or to people. Or he's probably gonna say Okay, let's just hear him then. <laughs> it's labeled bear string. The label also has a drawing of a silhouette of a man who looks suspiciously like Oh, he invented that or something? He's spraying the bear with silly string. I want you to spray me with your silly what? string. Yo, you need to stop. I didn't even press that. Stop! I'm just what? gonna take my finger off the button. There you go. The bear is crying. Oh no. This is not okay. What is this? Are you familiar with the concept of that word? Dog repellent? No. Oh. Yes. No, I'm not. It's mainly carried by pulse. 
it's an aerosol spray that uses extract from peppers to create irritation to dogs in order to ward off attacks. So it's like pepper spray. And why is it a bear? If it, because it they're in the woods. Dogs. Oh. Gravity Falls. This bear string is like that, except with a lot more of that. Absolutely. So whatever. what about the string part? Don't tell me it's silly string. That would be named for the silly string component. Okay, so are you a murderer or not? It makes for an excellent mechanism for propelling the substance over a long distance, not to mention the whimsy it brings when you spray it. Okay. <clears throat> it's very useful for fending off all sorts of wildlife. Air string. As well as unruly humans, if the need should arise. Talking about me? You look up at him. So, this is Bill in, in Ford's body. It, it, no, it's not. If it will help you feel safer, you can keep my bear string on your person for as long as you're with me. Okay, but it's yours, so how do I know that it's not like... It's like giving someone, like, an unloaded gun. You feel me? Though, so please, don't spray me with it unless you truly... Bear string, Oh, this Let's is my go. line. Acquired. Bear string. <laughs> That's weird. Ask him about the label. Ask him... Ask about unruly human. So, why do you know its effects on unruly humans? Oh, he fiddles with his glasses. Never annoy the mailman. <laughs> Did we ever see him in the show or no? I've never. I don't even think there is a mailman. It sounds like there's a story behind that. You'll get no parable out of me, just a piece of straight advice. Not talking, huh? Man, not knowing about this incident is gonna kill me. It's not that serious, it's just a mailman. Thank you. Glad I could put your mind at ease. So what do you say to staying in my cabin? Now, I was gonna say yes anyway. Well, it's very kind of you. I'll try not to take too long to sort myself. By all means. And jump at me. Foxy stuff. <laughs> Things go silent for a bit before he starts again. So, now that we're going to be temporary housemates, why don't you tell me about yourself? How about your name? How about your name? Your shit is still question marks. Oh, and could you spell it <laughs> out for me? It helps with committing it to memory. Spell it out for him? That really aid memorization like that? They're gonna make yeah. Uh, I think that's type it. I whatever. think that's cute. You remember, remember the oh, oh. <laughs> you remember the tape recorder? He's running in his front seat. I'm smelling that shit out for you. Well, I'm going to his house now. Would it really hurt to give him my name? You go. Yay! You want to put your name too? It's you. You're the player. But I could put. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, I want to put caps, though. Sorry. Yay! <laughs> that is correct. Oh, Reed, is that correct? Yeah, I just said it. Yeah. 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 Yep. You got it. Hey! <laughs> it's his turn Randy. now. Randy. So let me hear your f name. I mean, freaking. It's Miles. Oh, my. Now tell me, Brandy, what were you doing driving around out here this late at night? Is he like? Your silence causes him to look back at you. I'd oh. rather not talk about it. Oh, we got a spooky backstory. Can we talk about your name though? Are you sure? You know, there's no one better. What? You know, there's no one better to get something off your chest to than a stranger. That's false. It's like all <laughs> the benefits of keeping a journal, but with the added bonus of human interaction. You're right. a loser. And possible judgment. I'm sure. Oops. All right, All right then. Said, yeah. yeah. You can hear the disappointment in his voice loud and clear. Can I hear your name loud and clear? How about this? Have you ever hitchhiked before that? You or that you can remember? Mm -hmm. no. Yes and no. Talk too well. Oh, interesting. <laughs> And it was, f and was finding your way to the main road from your car. 
I definitely shouldn't tell him that thing I saw. No, do He'll it. think I'm nuts. No, he will not. He's nuts. He went actually insane, actually. Wait, I got this. But it might not hurt to tell him the other thing. Okay, she Vsauce. Too low. This... Well, no, but... It took a long time and dot dot dot. Somehow it took a lot longer than it felt like it did. I was surprised to see your clock say 11.10. He sits up in his seat a little. Oh, wow. It's my posture. Could you elaborate on that? It's because I'm a loser. I'm not allowed right now. Shit. Stop. Well, when my car stopped working, it was only 10 p.m. And I figured out the main road was only about 10, was a, only about a 10 minute walk from where I was. It only felt like one. It only felt like one, too. I see. That must have felt very unusual. Oh, my God. There's an unmistakable sound of excitement in his voice. Weirdo. Was the weather any different from how it is now? The weather? I didn't think it was weird before, but now that I think about it... Well, it wasn't raining as hard when I was driving, but it was pouring when I got out of the car. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, bro. It's quizzical, huh? Yep. One more. Okay. He seems lost in thought. That's not too unusual for rain, though, right? Hmm? Oh, sure. Okay. Nigga's not paying attention. <laughs> you write in silence until you catch sight of his cabin. Oh, yeah. We made it, guys. The, headli the headlights shine dimly, bouncing off the fog. You get a better look as the car approaches closer. I'm not- Ooh. What is that? Hell no. Wow. That's a pretty sizable cabin. He really lives here by himself? You just said that out loud. Your, Your driver dri put- Oh. Sigma, stop. I didn't say that. Your driver puts the car in park and looks back at you in the mirror one last time. Where's his glasses? What the heck? I mean, where is he? I don't know. He takes a deep breath. Starts to turn. Slowly. To look at you. I look back at you from the seat. Scared? Oh no. Is this the part where I get axe murdered? In the car? He would have to clean it. You clutch your bear string tightly. Fucking hell. What the hell is wrong with he him? He quickly jolts the rest of the way to look at you over his shoulder. Ha! I'm gonna spray you. Yeah, let, let, take my line. That's that's fine. What line? You just took my whole line. The take whole line you just said. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You're still here. What, bro? What? He thought I was fake? <laughs> he thought I was like a demon or something? What? what? This axe, please. What the f*** are you talking about? What? No. I'm so confused. The man, oh. the man fumbles around in his passenger seat for something. You hear the distant sound of pages turning. You're insane. Oh, distinct. Whoopsies. Ah, what's your name? Well, I'm gonna get out of the car and let you out now. Thanks. Stay here. Um, weirdo. Dot dot dot. Where else would I go? The woods. Woods. She comes in this room. You get out. Ooh. You get out of the car. He said to stay. Already not listening. Okay, this bitch is dumb. He keeps his back to you for a few seconds. It looks like he's looking through something. He's finding his gun. Right. Oh. Mm. He turns back around. He seems to be holding that big book from the passenger seat. Still here. What is happening? I think I'm still here. Is something wrong? Well, yeah, sort of. He flips quickly and efficiently through his book. Oh, it's the second one, too. Six. Yes, six. Yeah, yeah, it's I was just making sure. By all accounts, you were supposed to have vanished at the end of the ride. Vanished? I'm supposed to what? I was supposed to what? It could have been that my research was off. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, what on earth are you talking about? I, uh... Oh, pardon me. Have you perchance heard the urban legends about vanishing hitchhikers? No way. No, I have not. The hell is wrong with you? No, I haven't. You see, 
There have been many tales relayed to travelers, cab drivers, the occasional pizza delivery man, revolving around picking the picking up of a hitchhiker in unfavorable weather conditions in the dead of night. The trip will start out normal enough. Some pleasant small talk is usually exchanged, but at the end of the ride, the passenger is found to have mysteriously disappeared. There's some accounts. Of, why are you smiling so much? There's some accounts of deities. 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 There we go. And oracles. What? Being picked up and bestowing. Bestowing good fortune or prophecies, a terrible fate for the driver. But usually the passenger just turns out to have been some random freeloading ghost. Um. <laughs> At any rate, I may have picked you up working under the assumption that you were one. So not because I was in need of help. It's so, so amazing to hear. <laughs> Why would you think that, you maniac? Why does she keep saying why on earth? Why on earth would you think that? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... He flips diligently through his book. You look so close to this dis... What? You look so close to this description from eyewitness accounts in the area. He ginger... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what... Yeah. He gingerly holds up a drawing of something that looks kind of like you. Can I see it? It's probably nothing, but way uglier. Yikes. So it is So you. it is me. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> I don't look like that! You kind of look like that. Oh, no. Surely you have to admit there's a similarity. Nah. Okay, you look like a f***ing loser. Stop. I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> Sigh. No That's my way you favorite to do thing it. to say yes! Wow. I can't believe I even got in your car. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> Let alone agree to stay at your house. Are you still gonna stay or? Cabin, but okay. Ah, uh, wait. <laughs> Were you even actually planning on letting me stay at your house? Well... Now that you were real, I mean, he has to let us stay. No. Wow. Again, I thought you'd be gone by the time I got home. Well, now I have your address. Now I'm here, so let me in. Mm. You feel like you've been dealt a devastating blow. Why even offer... What am I supposed to what do now? What am I supposed to do? I mean, I'll yeah. do it. Okay. What do you want? What am I supposed to do? Got you. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do now? You feel yourself starting to tear up. Oh, no. I mean, let me in the house. He looks a little remorseful. Look, I may have made my offer under the pretense, pretense of you being a spirit, but I am a man of my word. Oh, put that thing away. You need a place to stay, and I'm going to give you one. Stop it. Let me calm down. <laughs> That you request that you. I thought I would request that you return my bear string. Oh, though. No. Hell no, I'm not returning that shit. Absolutely not. You clutch the bear string. You're definitely not getting this back now. Ain't no way. He's a freak. Well, it's pointless to stand outside in the rain any longer. Come inside. This is him talking. Wait, why is it. Okay, why well, is oh, so it? broke. Whatever. You broke it. I didn't. You follow him inside the cabin. That shit better look good. Okay, period. Uh, I like the bleeding skull in the corner. Oh, wow. Enter your cabin. 11.40 p.m. The room you enter astounds you. Oh, my God. You find yourself surrounded by curios ranging from relics that look like they belong in a museum. The grotesque displays of warped fantastical creatures. And jars and collections of their body parts. Okay. I'm my own peace of mind... I want to assume these all came from animals. There's an octopus in the corner. Yeah. There are strange machines, some computer-like in nature, and some unidentifiable to you. None of which seem befitting of residential environment. This guy... He's really something. What is all this? You start to feel overwhelmed by the sheer Sorry. amount of strange things to investigate. When your eyes dart around the room, something in particular catches your eye. Dot, dot, dot. A fire extinguisher? Yup. Yes, well, fire safety is important. Okay. Right. And I love how I still don't know his name. That's crazy. Gah! I forgot he was there. 
Especially when your entire house is made out of wood. Right. Okay. What is that rainbow triangle in the corner? What are you gay or something? something? Ain't no way. Right. House. You're in somebody's house. You try to recompose yourself a little. Huh? Oh shit. I'm a little worried about leaving my car out there. Could I make a call for a tow truck with your phone? I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone? Because I have a phone. I'm sorry to add further grievances to your night, but um knowing him you're him Who's steve oh well knowing him <laughs> your car's almost certainly been eaten by steve by now no wait eaten steve steve yeah who the f is steve steve they, yo, they give the the biggest monsters the like the most normal names oh remember yesterday that guy the shark in the tub anthony <laughs> <laughs> before i address that question i think it would be best that i enter thank you Finally, what the f has been 30 minutes? You're, You're an, an axe murderer. No, say nothing. Say I want to hear your name. Okay. Yee! My name is Stanford Pines. I'm a researcher here at Gravity Falls studying the town's anomalies. Okay, Miguel. Oh, this is okay. This is when he was younger, so this yeah. is okay. Anomalies. Yes. This town is a hotbed for the strange and unusual. Ooh. Like managing hitchhikers, for example. Exactly. <laughs> And guys named Steve who eat cars? I wouldn't necessarily describe him as a guy, but yes. Right. How do you know Steve? Him. I've been- It's fucking Bill, isn't it? I've been here for nearly four years now, working to document anything and everything I can find. What you see before you is but a fraction of the results of this work. This is all stuff he found? <laughs> Sounds cool. Goodbye. Sounds cool. I'm not leaving. You look around your environment once more with a curious new appreciation. Does he really expect me to believe that all this stuff is real? I don't know, but I've got a hard time believing that. But, well, it sounds pretty cool. Oh. Stanford perks up at this. Oh, no, I take it back. Oh, it's been more than just pretty cool. It's been astounding. I'm sure you- oh, his name is there, sorry. I'm sure you may still be hesitant to accept what I say as truth, but... Wait here. I'm going to show you something you won't believe. Is it a floating triangle with a top hat? Stop it. Stanford disappears further into his cabin. Is it your brother? <laughs> you hear the sound of a cage rattling. Close the cage. I don't want to see what's in there. Easy there. You can come out now. Hell no, don't come out. Is it a gnome? Does he have some kind of pet back there? What do you think it is? It's Shmemulok. I think it's one of the gnomes. I'm not even- Or it's like that shape-shifting thing. From Why the... would he keep it? You know how- like... I know he f he he had it. Or whatever. Yeah. It was an experiment, but I don't think- I feel like- I thought he put it in a jar or something. Uh -huh. I just swore he put it in a jar. I've got someone here who would like to S-E-E you. Hell no- Uh oh. The rattling intensifies. I'm not seeing that. Oh, so you've learned how to spell, have you? Do not okay. bring that thing in here. I'm not even joking. Am I going to have to start saying the third letter of the alphabet from now on? What? You hear the cage open. What, is he blind? Is he mad because he can't see? From, from the, the other... other... <laughs> from the other room, Stanford calls out to you. Now, you may be shocked at what you're about to... Uh... At which you're about to the third letter of the alphabet. Wait, why does he have to do that? I we're gonna find out. But I get but I but I ask that you remain calm. This specimen is friendly, but prone to overexcitement. Got you. Stanford's footsteps approach. I I'm just kinda scared. Oh, it's one of the little bats. Okay, this is cute. Nothing crazy. Yeah, it is cute. I like it. Ugh! No. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Pretty, it just blinked. Pretty neat, isn't it? Nah, I winked. Get out. <laughs> this is insane. I've never seen anything like this. It's just a bat with an eyeball. You've never seen a bat before? With an eyeball? Like, just an eyeball? I mean, ever heard of uh, birth defects? This guy's a bully. No way. Yeah. You look over the thing in his hands. The thing in his hands looks over at you. Kind of all it can do. Where did you even find something like this? Stanford secures the creature in his hip. What? What? To his hip with his arm, and starts to flip through his book. Oh, 
they reside in quite a few different caves around Gravity Falls. Why are you looking at me like that? I came across them while exploring. Or should I say, I came across one. Mm -hmm. Then a whole mess of them proceeded to swarm me when I held my torch up for a closer look. So you captured it as revenge. A torch? A torch. Buddy, help me! You exploring a cave with just a torch? No flashlight or... I have a lantern, but it wasn't working that day. I mean that lantern right there? Probably. Jackass. Stop. Somehow, I think he just thought I'd it'd feel cool to use a torch. So, um, what is the little guy called? Oh, this is Iris. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I thought I'd call this... I thought I'd call the species in general eye bats. Oh, I get it. Because it's an eyeball with bat wings. Oh, really? Exactly. So, how does it eat? Poop? Breathe, eat, do its business. So you had two of them. Yeah, eat. How does it eat? Okay. How do the eye bats eat? Don't tell me they photosynthesize. Oh, that would be nice. Photosynthesize. <laughs> no, you dumbass. It's forced to stare at the sun for all their nutrients. They would surely shrivel up and die if. Right. I bats feed in much less asinine, asinine. Man asinine manner. Have you ever noticed how gnats always seem to head straight for one's eyes? Eat my eyeballs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're attracted to the moisture and salt in our tears. I bats use this to their advantage. They're producing tears constantly, much like one would imagine any self-sufficient eyeball should. Right. This has the added bonus of attracting these bugs, which then get stuck in their vis... Visus? Mm -mm. I don't know, surface. And are absorbed into the eye bats directly. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. I was lit- That's interesting. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. I'll admit, witnessing them feed once was one miracle of nature I'd never like to see again. See, you said see. The I bet flaps its wings rapidly in Stanford's hands. Oops, sorry, nothing to see here, said see again. Jackass. You look down at the I bet. I, can you put that thing back, please? Put the thing back, Barry King Fillmore, so help me. Okay. You don't remember this Monsters, Inc., remember? Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh my yeah. god. It blinks at you. Don't blink at me. It winked. It's flirting. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I think it's taking a liking to you. How no put that I thing back in the cage. I told you. Or a, a hating. Mm -hmm. They can't do much. It can be kind of difficult to tell how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Either way, there's nothing to worry about with this species. After all, it's not like they could blink you to death. <laughs> Laugh track. Blink at iBats. <laughs> Stare at iBats. I'm gonna blink at you. There you go. You blink. Oh. <laughs> you blink at the iBat. Is he gonna blink back? No, he jumps at me. Oh, yep, what the it. hell? Suddenly, the iBat jerks his wings in and out, propelling itself into the air. Damn thing. I'm old. Shut up. <laughs> I guess I'll read it, it then. It flies oh. hectically around the room, knocking over anything that okay. looks old or fragile in its path. It bumbled its way down the staircase. Is he mad at me? Springing into action, Stanford launches himself over a chair and retrieves his coat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is he doing? Does he have to have it on? I mean... He puts it on with a dramatic flourish. Like, I, I don't understand. Hurry up. Uh-oh. Oh, he hastily opens up my drawer and pulls out. A... Butterfly nest? Oh, you about to help him. He got two. Hell no, I'm not doing shit. What do I look like? Patrick? These are are a little crude. <laughs> R R R. But in my experience, I found they're the best way to catch them. Hell no, I'm not helping. He throws one at you. Okay. <laughs> Jesus! Hell, what is wrong? Why'd you have to whip me with it, first of all? <laughs> oh, you, you I, just drink your water, bro. No, you reflexively hold up your hands. Which the net slaps against. They're not slapping against anything. Wait, I'm sorry. Quickly, follow me and shut the door behind you. I'll talk to you. He runs down the stairs. Follow him? Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. 
<laughs> Are you serious? You give Jace to Stanford down the stairs. You run down several flights of winding stairs after an unrelenting standard. Stanford. I really must insist an elevator install. I really must install an elevator one of these days. How do you even have this many subterranean floors? He's a freak? I don't remember that being a thing. Question mark, question mark, question mark. 12 a.m. Damn. Finally, you find yourself in a dimly lit room full of technology. Hmm. And equipment, the likes of which you've never... No, oh, seen before. There are cages littered about, some placed cautiously out of reach, and some not. Wow. What's all this? Ford looks excited, okay. as per usual. My lab! This is where I do all the bulk of my work. It's a very useful place for containing and studying all the anomalies I'm able to capture. Can we get- Crash. Ford's smile fades. Though if we don't catch that eye bad soon, I worry that- I worry what will and won't stay contained. The flashing lights are going to be very disorienting to it. We'll have to try and corner it before it- huh. So are we gonna get that or what? I think. Shuts off the lights. Yikes. We let it just do all that. All the lights in the lab have shut off. Oh no, I accidentally slipped. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Dang, that was like a pain. Oh, I thing. thought you were gonna hit me. You could hard oh wow. You could hardly see your hand in front of your face. Dun, 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 dun. You hear what sounds like the noise that might happen when a man in a trench coat determinately puts his hands on his hips. Okay. Well, now that that time constraint of our what the f is off our shoulders. Oh yeah, we can formulate a plan in the dark. Yeah, dumbass. I have my own ideas for how to go out and my god, I have my own ideas for how to go about catching the eye bat. But I'm curious. What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking I'm better off in the rain. Yikes. Use the nets. Cause Chase it back upstairs. Build a trap. I mean, you gave me the net, but I feel like he would like it more if we made a trap. I guess, but it's dark. I don't know. Okay, yeah. All these use, seem stupid. Use the nets, then. I guess. In the dark? Okay, so build a trap, then. <laughs> this is all you, bro. Maybe we could lure it into a trap somehow? A trap! Yes! Precisely what I was thinking. Oh, wow. You know him so well. God, like, you we hear what sounds like him rubbing an ever so slightly stubby chin and pacing back and forth. Bro. But what to build our trap with? We're limited to what we can find down here. I'm sure you have a few flies down here. Flies? Snap. He snaps his fingers. Jackass. All right, I know what we need. We'll want to find something to contain the eye bat in. A long and preferably thin object. Oh, I got one right here, buddy. Oh my god! Something we can tie to it. And bait. Okay, I have some cheese. A cheese, rope, a stick, and a box. Why would it want cheese, first of all? It's the- Wait a the minute. The bait. Yeah, but- You know, you know, like those cartoon traps? Oh! They prop the, the, the oh, yes. box up. Yeah. Yes. He's not seriously thinking about it. <laughs> yep. Look at him in the corner. He's so goofy, bro. A Looney Tunes trap? That's what I. That's what I yo, I'm, I'm a genius. A Looney Tunes box and stick style trap? I'm definitely not going for that. But they. He said that they eat, like, the sun's rays or whatever. Why would it. Why would we lower it with cheese? No, he said they do the exact opposite of that. Wait, what? He said that if they had to, like, eat with using, like, the sun, they would die. And what they do instead is because they're a giant eyeball, they, like, make tears in their eyes. And, like, little bugs go to suck the tears out of their eyes and they eat it like that. Oh, uh, I thought he said that they stare at the sun. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think you're a dumbass. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds great. Bad. Sounds great. Let's see how that Let goes. Let me just prop up a new 
choice yeah. that says great instead of good. Sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. You lying? Right. I don't know about all this. It's all this. But he's the expert, I guess. <laughs> Let's just see where this goes. Excellent. Great minds think alike after all. Oh my god. Now that that's left to its- to venture What the f Now all that's left is to venture out and gather our parts. Unfortunately, this is the one time I happen to leave my flashlight in my other coat. He has multiple coats, Brie. No way. You are pissing me off. So unless you've got something on you, we'll have to navigate our way around in the dark. I have my phone. Sorry, I don't have anything. We don't have a phone. Why did you think we had a phone in this game? I don't know. I just kind of hoped that YN would be something. <laughs> anything. I figured as much. He said, you're useless. Right. Don't worry. I, it, I wouldn't be much of a scientist if I didn't know the layout of my own lab breaks everything. The, the ways out of the room we're currently in are north and east. Oh, and if you feel anything that seems like it could be a cage... Don't, do not open it. Just, oh, it's one of those games. I already oh. forgot which way I was supposed to go. He said north and east. Back. We can go back. Yeah. North the and ways east. out of the room is north and east. So I don't know what a compass looks like. I keep forgetting. Never eat soggy waffles. Okay, so north is up. Okay, so we got to go this way and this way. To go out. To go out. Okay. Okay. The west, east, and south is the ones that we should probably do. You find yourself in the first room of Stanford's lab. What will you do? Look around. Everybody in Oh, we here. have to pick it. Oh. Look around. Can't see. You'll have to feel your way out. Around. <laughs> you find yourself in the first room of Stanford's lab. What will you do? Be I'm going to talk to Stanford. So how are we going to be able to find the iPad in the dark? Their eyes emit a yellow glow. Shh, sh Be visible no matter where she tries to hide. Couldn't it just close its eyes? Eye? It could, yeah. Mm, sorry. It could, yes. But iBat can only keep their eyes closed for so long before they have to open them again. Okay. The concept of closing their eyes is largely unnecessary for them. Not all of them even can. It only really helps them produce extra tears. They keep their lids closed too long. They'll be become a practical waterfall. I see. They'll have to sworn someone cut an onion in front of them. What? Oh, you'll have sworn. Oh, okay. I don't care. So if they can't... I'm just going to say normally. If they can't keep their eyes closed, how do they sleep? They sleep with one eye open. When you edit the video, I want you to add a cricket sound. <laughs> I want you to add a cricket sound. I want you to add a cricket sound right there. Which, in their case, is all of them. Okay. Can we? Yeah, just, I don't. Oh, my God. If one was sleepwalking, would you be able to tell? Shock. Da, da, da. Never really thought about it. I'll have to look into that sometime. Room, room one. one. Still. What okay. will you do? Leave. Leave. Oh, go east. You venture east. to the next room. You find yourself in the second room of Stanford's lab. I'm actually glad you can't see this area. Oh, what is this? Your dungeon? Stop. <laughs> it's the first space I set aside for storing artifacts and specimens I found. All filed in alphabetical order. Loser. Okay, so this is probably one of the rooms where if we if we fill a cage, we shouldn't open it. You should open it? Alphabetical order. What was I thinking? But enough on that. The exits for this area are west and east. Okay, so it's different now. What will you do? I, I want to talk to him. I like the conversation, though. They'd be long. Because he just keeps talking. <laughs> What's so bad about alphabetical order? Aside from the fact that it's not very useful scientifically to sort them that way, many of the anomalies here in Gravity Falls are lacking names aside from the ones I've bestowed upon them. Because he's a god. And sometimes these names end up requiring provisions. 
my god. So anytime you think of a better name, you have to come down here and move stuff around. Precisely. Sounds a little tired. What will you do? I mean, what will you do? Oh, we gotta feel around, because if we go west or east, we're gonna leave the room. Okay, feel around. You feel around in the dark cautiously. Your hand brushes up against something. Oh my god! What? What is it? Huh? Huh? Oh, I think this is just a cardboard box. Oh, we got it. Oh, let's go. Oh, were we supposed to feel around in the other oh, room? Shit. Oh, brother. Can we go back? No. Yes, we can. I'm not gonna go all the way no, back. No, like... Dude, it said the exits for this room are east and west, and if we went east to get over here, then we can go east to go back. Oh, we could try it. Dingo. Wait, what he said it's not? Look. Be careful with that. That's no cardboard box. Gah! You dropped the cardboard box? Question mark? What was that thing? A fearsome and dangerous creature known as box? An ordinary cardboard box? Is he serious? More crickets. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Next time you do that, I'm throwing whatever is in my hands at you. You re-pick up what is most certainly just a cardboard box. Think we could use this? No shit. Hmm. Hand it to me a moment. Hell no. You wave the cardboard box around in the dark till you feel Stanford grab it. You hear the sound of cardboard flapping around as Stanford rotates the cardboard box a couple of times. Yes, I believe this is large enough to contain her. Excellent work, Brian D. Thank you so much. I did all the work. No, you didn't. What will you do? Go east. You venture east to the next room. Oh, there you know. I mean, there's light. Oh, this area has enough light for us to see. Get to click now. An old college friend of mine liked to say that the glow college. of technology is akin to the sun on a rainy day. Right. While I'm not sure I agree with the statement, I found myself putting more super follow up. Diodes and everything, I don't know. That's silly. That's nice. No, that's silly. I was just reading the other oh, okay. one. Kind of silly. Ah! If he were here, he'd also say that silliness is the mother of invention. You better stop. A statement I have come to agree with after my time with him. What do you mean by that? But at any rate, the exits for this area are... Oh, wait. You can see. Yeah. Hello? Well, I'll tell oh. you anyway. The exits for this room are west and north. This guy's uh -oh. freaky. Thanks. Look around, talk, go west, go north. You already know what I want. So, what is, what? So college, huh? What did you go to college for? Science? I found myself specializing in the bulk of my coursework in biology, biology and physics. But really, I just took as many science-based courses as the university was willing to offer. And then some. Does this, does all this count as biology? Of course. All of these anomalies are as much living things as you or I. There's a sense of great determination in his voice. Well, except for the undead ones. There's undead ones? Like zombies? And uh, and non-living entities enchanted by magic, of course. Although I have my own theories on that. Mm -hmm. He didn't hear me. Okay, look around. Look around, go west, go north. Aside from all the flashing electronics, there's not much in this room. In the corner, there's a metal cage. Yeesh. We finally get a room where I can see, and all there is to show for it is an empty cage. Well, I've got news for you! That cage isn't empty. It's housing an invisible anomaly. So how'd you catch it? Invisible, <laughs> huh? Go ahead and tap the top of it. <laughs> He'll make his presence known to you. I don't think I want to. You, you tap, tap the top of the cage. It's empty, isn't it? Oh, it might rattle watch. 
Nothing happens. Oh. Never mind. It's mm-hmm. gone. I'm getting fuck- the fuck out of this house. That isn't good. No, it's not. Is he being serious? Go west, go north. Go north. Oh, you walk north into the next room. Hey, it looks like there's a light coming from the room west of this one. I see. Yes. That's about the color of the eye bat radiant. I think we found our man. Thankfully, I thought it was a man. What? Thankfully, she's cornered herself. The only way out of that room is back through this one. Once we've got everything ready, we'll set up our trap here. We only have the fucking box. We only box. have the box, dickhead. This sounds awful. like a plan. Because it is one. Oh, snippy. I can see the exits myself here. The west room is occupied by the eye bat, so it looks like north and south are the only directions to go. South. Yeah. You walk south into the next room. Back in room three again. Okay, go west. Wait, we... Okay. Uh-oh. You venture... West. ...into the next room. Room two, what will we do? You have to look around. We don't have what? it yet. Like the option. Okay, so go east. Venture east. into the next room. What the heck? This is pissing me okay, off. Okay, go west. Okay, here okay, we go. We look go. around. You feel around the dark cautiously. Your hands brush against something hot. Um. <laughs> what is it? Did something bite you? I'm gonna cut it off. No. What are you doing? Oh, whoops, sorry. No, I just touched something hot. My apologies. I do have plenty of caution signs up, but they're not very effective in the dark. Really? What? Uh, my jaw broke. <laughs> <laughs> Does this guy really get the point of caution signs? It didn't burn you, did it? It actually did a little bit. I think you need to like. Let's say no and not sure. Not sure. Oh well. Either. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Let me have a. That's Take like your hand into the pitch blackness. Oh, that was my line. What? No. You feel your hand. You feel... Oh, you're doing all the green text. Yeah. You feel a hand. Lightly take yours, only using a few fingers when you have six. Let's. See. You can practically hear his realization. Yeah, um, you're gonna f- die. You let go of your hand. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Huh? Well, what happened? What happened? I. What's wrong with my hand? Uh oh. Is, is, what is the realization that we were holding hands? In your six-fingered <laughs> hand? What are you twelve? But it said we got burnt. That's what I'm saying. He just doesn't want to hold my hand. Oh, it's because it was dark. He's like, let me take a look, but it's dark, so he can't even take a look. Oh. That's why. Yo, we're just as dumb. Where are we going? Northeast. I don't even know. Just we don't even have everything. North. We're supposed to have cheese and rope. Yeah, like and a stick. We're supposed to be missing basically all the stuff we need for this dumb tribe. Okay, go north then, I guess. Venture north. You find yourself in the twelfth room. What? I have been puzzling out <laughs> a few experiments in here. I ask that you exercise caution as you move around. Based on smell alone, I can tell nothing's been knocked over yet. Ew, stinky. Oh. And I'd like to keep it that way. Ask about smell. <laughs> the smell? Oh, yes, yeah, some of the supplies I've been working with in here are quite pungent. They'll work wonders for a stuffy nose, but for right now, it would be best to keep everything in their bottles. Is there anything dangerous here I might touch? Just some acid. Right. Acid? And a few bases. Bases? <laughs> But so long as you move carefully, you'll be all right. Sanford's voice grows quieter. Shh. I really should get that safety shower installed. So you Why stink, nigga? I already have one. Okay, you're pissing me off. Did you just say something? Just a note to myself. Don't mind me. He's saying, damn, this bitch stink. Oh, wow. By the way, the exits in this room are south and west. I'm going south. Oh, feel around. Oopsies. You feel around in the dark extra carefully, cautiously. With the tips of your fingers, you feel something fuzzy. <gasps> Did you find something? What is it? 
I don't know, it feels fluffy. You put your hand on it once again. You hear the faint... It's the rope. Crackling of static Uh. electricity and see some small sparks. Huh? (laughs) I see. Will you? Please remove your hand and step back a moment, slowly, and let me know when you've done so. Okay, I'm scared. He sounds pretty serious. Oh, sure. Remove your hand. Removed. Sanford feels out where placing a light touch on your back. He steps ahead of you as you move behind. Oh, yeah. I'd suggest maintaining a little more. <laughs> Yo. You inch back a bit more, making sure you don't knock anything over. Sit something dangerous after all. Yeah, you have 48 hours left. You see Sparks again as he touches the object. Yeah. Just as I thought. <laughs> what? What is it? It's just an area rug that I rolled up in the corner from the show. Oh, yeah. the Yeah, and then they touch each other. Wait a minute. The change bodies. The change bodies. They bodies. made contact. It didn't match the general decor of the lab. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so why did you make a big fucking deal about it then? I see. All that over a rug? Oh no. What will you do? I'm talking to Stanford. A small breeze crosses your face. Huh? Question mark? Say, Stanford. <laughs> what? Yes? Do you feel that? Feel what? It feels like there's a draft. Like all the air is headed to the north part of this room. Hmm. I can't say I know what you're talking about. I guess he's wearing a coat after all. You can't feel it on his face? You sure- You're sure the only ways out of here are west and south? I'm fairly certain that there's not a room north of here. I'm going in the room. What will you do? Go north. Bree, what if we die? I'm going I'm north. Saving to yeah, save sure it. Whatever. Don't. Go north. Ignoring Stanford's certainties, you head north. Anyway. To both your surprise, there's in fact a room here. That's odd. I don't remember this room being here. I thought you said you knew the layout of your lab. I do. I spent so many days down here that I've attained a near photographic memory of this place. Could this have been an anomaly's doing? The back rooms. Uh, Question is knowledge. Ask about anomaly theory. Po- what? Posit your own theory. I'm not going to question his knowledge. Okay, what's your theory? No, his Ask. theory, yeah. Okay. What kind of anomaly would build a room in your house? Oh, all sorts of anomalies try to do that. Especially the winter moths when it starts to get cold. Months. I'm always having to clear gnomes out of my attic. Oh my god. I'm so tired of these gnomes. What do you use to get rid of a gnome? A broom. Drop kicking them out the window works well enough. <laughs> oh my god. Though it's a little time consuming, it gets... And it lets the cold air in. Oh. Is it bad that I kind of want to see that? No, because I want to see it. Can drop kick a gnome? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel around and see if you can find any of those little scamps for me, will you? Of course. But if you do, don't let them bite you. Oh, you're going to turn into one. Why? Because it would hurt. You feel around in the dark cautiously. Your hand brushes against something on the floor. It feels like... You shift the object in your hand a few times. Little firecrackers? That's them. Were you celebrating the 4th of July down here or something? Ha! Huh. I was so caught up in my research, I'm not sure I even acknowledge that the 4th of July happened this year. Bro's not a true American. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm not sure I even acknowledge that July happened this year. Go ahead and step outside for me. Oh. Well... Maybe we should set these off later, as a belated July celebration. Eh, sure, why not? (laughs) Seems there's nothing else of interest here. Oh, boo. Oh, South. Is this the same room or no? Oh, no, it's different. That would be due to the light in that fish tank over there. Fish tank? Fish tank. Fish tank? Just... A fish tank? Just a fish tank. Uh, There aren't any anomalies inside? 
There's nothing anomalous about the contents of the fish tank. Are you a bot? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Look around. I'm looking around, okay. you weirdo. Bath in blue light. You see a magazine on the floor. Oh, you nasty. All right. A magazine. I wonder what kind of magazine this guy reads. Bro. Oh, yeah. Unpopular science, maybe? Oh, biology for sure. Wow. You pick you up, pick the, up magazine. the magazine. Oh, geez. I'm gonna bite you. Ready? No, do not. Okay. Wow. Sensible. Oh, my God. God, sensible eyewear for the active 30 something. Huh. <laughs> what you reading there? Gum. I forgot he can see me. I'm Well, reading... you saw the magazine. You Jagger. hastily closed the magazine as if you had something to hide. If there's an unusual article about woodpeckers in there, I assure you that is the town's fascination, not mine. Yet it's down here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah, you could. What? Stanford ignores your question, I'm sorry. But a look of delight washes over his face as it seems the magazine as he sees the magazine cover. Oh, that's brilliant, Randy. That will work perfectly. But brilliant? I know what he's talking about. No. Yes, no. I have no idea what he means. I don't think I can pretend. I better fess up. He's smiling really big. Brilliant. What did I do? Oh, did you not pick up this eyeglass magazine on purpose? It would be the perfect bait, don't you think? Oh. oh. Okay, what, is he gonna read it? No, the apparently the, the bat's gonna have, like, eyeglasses or something. I don't know. Bait? You really think this will make good bait? Oh, I know so. I actually hid that magazine down here because... Sure. Because anytime she caught me reading it upstairs, she would attempt to rub herself all over it. Huh? Get the pheromones in there. Mm-hmm. This bat is pissing me off. <laughs> Gee. I guess she likes the hunky frames, huh? Oh, oh my god! Oh. Uh? <laughs> Thankfully, she prefers the feminine ones, actually. Well, I don't. Wow. He shifts his glasses around a little com uncomfortably. Like now. So we just flip to the page with women's glasses and leave it out for her? Exactly. It should distract her just long enough for us to do what needs to be done. You require the magazine. So what was that about woodpeckers? I'll tell you about that later. Okay. Go. So, I want to talk to you, actually. Fun fact. So is there any reason you have a fish tank? I need to know about this fish tank. Oh, sorry. He looks a little embarrassed. <laughs> well, you see, there's a lake on the outskirts of town. And on one of my very first investigations of it, I found something unusual. He leads o you over to the tank and gestures at it, at its sole inhabitant. Fish. Hello? An axolotl. Oh my god, that's so cute! Uh, look at his face! That's you! On a good day! Oh my god! An axolotl? Knowing axolotls do not live anywhere near Oregon and eager to find something, I excitedly took it home to study and document. But after buying a whole tank and a year's supply of brine shrimp, I had come to find it's nothing. Huh. I've desperately tried to uncover anything anomalous, but the weirdest thing about this axolotl is how standard it is. Just chilling. The way I figure, the way I figure it, somebody dumped their exotic pet into the lake. Well, he seems happy to be here, at least. Stanford smiles. Suppose he does. Yeah, big ass grin right okay, there. When is your pants gonna come off? Wow. Go north. <laughs> Alrighty. Find yourself in the ninth room of Stanford's lab. The exits. What the f the exits for this area are south, southeast, and east. East. So, what will you why do? Why there's so much? Hold on, mom. I'm gonna feel around. You feel around in the dark cautiously. You feel absolutely nothing of interest. That's amazing. Stanford breathes a sigh of relief. You just breathe a sigh of relief. 
of relief. <laughs> what will you do? I'm, what the f is wrong with you? I'm talking what? to you. No, you're freaky as hell. What's in this room? Turn the lights on. Wow. What? You don't have anything to say about this room? Nope. Leer at him. Question him. Leer. Like, look at him intensely. Well, he can't see me, so I'm gonna question you. Yeah. Jackass. Whoopsies. You had something to say about all the other rooms. <laughs> Sometimes the room is just unremarkable. This is his dungeon. In a way. I want 100% it's his dungeon. And some unremarkable things require no further investigation. Huh. Well, you do. I don't- I'm going southeast, first of all, because you're weird. I want to get out of here. You venture southeast to the next room. Find yourself in the seventh room. Jesus Christ! Sorry. There's a rather loud whirring noise echoing around the room. Whatever you've got in here, it sounds like it's overheating. Actually, that noise would be my heater. It's just doing its job. You piss me off. Oh. Keep up the good work, heater. Heater, thanks. No way. <laughs> you jump a few feet back, bumping into what you hope is Stanford. He studies you. Gosh, bro. Ah! So you could you so you actually got him to chat with you. What the f are you talking about? I got no who way. to chat with me, Steve? Well, that that's my will or won't a wisp. Sure. Will or won't a wisp. A standard will or won't a wisp <laughs> won't do much aside from float and occasionally give off light. Where's the light? Yeah, what the f But a will of what? Oh, a will o wisp? A will o wisp? Will or won't a wisp? Okay, this, I'm talking about a standard will or wisp, but now he's talking about a will or won't a wisp may speak and even occasionally perform tasks. Okay, turn the fucking lights on then. Though I'd say they only do so about 30% of the time. Lovely. Hence, will or won't. You sense a tinge of frustration in his voice. I'm dead. Some days it's very cold right here. But anyway, the exits for this room are east and northwest. Feel around in the dark, not cautiously. Your hand brushes <laughs> against something that feels like... Rope? Finally, we Fucking got it. God! Do you keep rope lying around? Ah! It very well may be. I keep some from the last time... I kept some from the last time the gnomes kidnapped me. Wait. I wanted to investigate if gnome rope had any special qualities compared to human rope. What? Yes, I know. It was quite a waste of time. Turns out they just steal rope out of people's garages and various hardware stores. What the hell? Oh. They can't. You want to ask him more about this, but you can't get the words out. I'd recommend feeling your way up both ends as opposed to just pulling. It may be attached to a cage door. You know. As a safety precaution. I wonder how safe that could truly be as you shuffle around the floor. Thankfully, the rope isn't attached to anything. Thankfully, less thankfully, the door is kind of dirty. The floor is kind of dirty. <laughs> you pick up the... You hand the rope to Stanford. Here. This is kind of dirty. But it will do nicely. Good job, Brandy. Thank you so much. Thanks. What will you do? Leave. I'm gonna talk to you. First. Oh wait, yeah, sorry. Okay. So about this will a won't a wisp. Ask it to do something. Ask it about itself. How are you doing today? He's sentient. Does he have a name? I've tried to ask it a few times, but he won't tell me. Excuse me. He responds to here often enough, though, so I stopped trying my luck. Hey, Heater, what's your name? Oh! Heater, what's your name? No way. My name is Will. Oh, wow. He likes me! Its name is Will. Will or won't a whiz. <laughs> okay, my <laughs> smile just dropped so fast. Dang. I guess that makes sense. That's almost disappointing in a way. Ask it something else? Yeah. 
How are you doing today? Well, do you like helping Stanford? I don't know. Maybe imagining it, but you think you hear what sounds like Stanford tensing up a little. Damn. Stanford sounds like he's relaxed a little. I don't think he'd be doing things I asked if he didn't care to. Right? Yes. Well, tell me something about Stanford in that other room. <laughs> Eats coffee powder sometimes. Mm. You hear Stanford twitch. Thank you, Will. Keep in mind, Bree and D, that he is not all-knowing, as far as I know. <laughs> Can't help but laugh a little. Thank you, Will. What will you do? Or Northwest. Pacifica! <laughs> you venture Northwest. to the next room. Can I get some light, please? What will you do? Oh, we went into this room already. Okay, go east, then. You venture... East. Okay, there we go. I'd be careful feeling around this room if I were you. Why? Is there something in here that could bite my fingers off? No, this is just the room where I keep my hand centrifuge. The hell? What? Smaller anomalies are always breaking in here to play on it. It would be cute if it weren't for the fact that whoever is spinning it always makes it their goal to make the other. Is right. Magical barf is way harder to clean than regular barf, too. What, is it made out of glitter or something? Yeah, actually, the gnomes. Hit the nail on the head. It also tends to be rainbow color, creating every color stain imaginable. Well, it sounds nicer to clean up than regular barf, at least. Because it looks better doesn't mean it smells better. Yikes. Plus, the stains set in magically fast. Anyway, the only way out of this room is back west. Good luck. What do you mean good luck? Why aren't you looking around, dude? What will you do? Looking. And anything? You haven't moved. Um, not yet. If there's anything in here, it isn't fragile. You quickly kick around with your foot to search the ground. Feel your foot come into contact with something. Ah! Please don't be barking. You carefully bend down and pick up the... Trojaners? Barf object. There's no barf. It appears to be a long metal rod of some sort. So we got yes. everything. Let's get the hell out of here. You pick up the... Metal rod. Will this work? You hand stand for the... Metal rod. <laughs> I'm gonna like put a voice change on your voice whenever you do really? that. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna figure it out. Yes, this should be perfect. Thank you. What will you do, Steve? I want to talk to you first. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's like first. <laughs> so, what kind of anomalies play on a centrifuge? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'm not just fairies, sprites, imps, limps. In a way. What is a flimp? We'll make a guess now. I think it's a fairy and an imp. Probably. I made that one up. I was curious if you were really paying attention. No way, Dude. Bro. What will you do? Get the hell out of here. That's what I'm doing. We have to figure out how to get back to the rooms with light, though. One hour later. Are you ready to enact our plan? There will be no return from this point. Are you ready? Yeah, you betcha. You betcha. You betcha. Oh, I'm going to put a laugh track there, definitely. Do not put no. I'm going to put a laugh track. Oh, he was just licking his toe. Anyway, <laughs> in the dim light of the room, you see Stanford gather up all your pieces. As expected, he ties the rope around the end of the metal rod. Oh, boy. Does he seriously think this is going to work? It's a cartoon. He rotates around the cardboard box in his hands, inspecting it. He pushes on part of it with his thumb. Oh, <laughs> A pop sound rings out as he shoves his thumb through the cardboard. Do that for? It was, oh, whoopsies. It was a little rudimentary, Rud I suppose. Rud rudimentary. rudimentary. But I had to make a hole somehow. Hand me another end of the rope, will you? 
He threads the rope through the box and ties the end into a knot. He gives the rope a good tug. How did he... Is he making a... A fishing rod? Oh, wow. That's not... What does what that say on the are? box? Unknown, Unknown teeth, teeth sample? Sam oh. Keep... Way... Fairies. Oh, get it? Two no. fairies. Oh. Oh my god. Yo! This nigga's dumb! A fishing rod? You sound surprised. I thought we were on the same page. No, I... No, I, I was just thinking about yeah, the, cartoon. the Looney Tunes thing. Yeah. I apologize. It's a little late now. But perhaps I should have asked what you had in mind. No, it's okay. This will probably work better. What the f***? You're not sure this actually will work. Oh, uh, will it work? Fishing for it? He this thinks he's so this cool. This is new. <laughs> of course. Don't tell me you haven't heard of fl fl fly, fly fly fishing. It's an actual thing. Fly fishing? Search it up later. Oh, it's a you got the joke and you're just pausing right now. That shit was not funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crickets again. But yes, it will work. The eye bats are strangely susceptible to fishing tactics. Do you remember the nets I brought? Oh, I guess I was thinking of using those more as butterfly nets. I suppose in that case, I'd be better. <laughs> Bad joke or good joke? It's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> you let out a small chuckle. You force out a small chuckle. I shouldn't He's have done so that shit. I shouldn't now. have done that shit, bro. Yikes. That was terrible. That was awful. At any rate, what you're going what you're going to need to do is wait for the eye bat to take the bait, then cast the trap over top of her. CJ should be doing this. As long as you cast high enough, it will land correctly. Wait, what I'm going to do? Why am I doing it? She knows my scent. Lucky! She's not going to come out if I'm too close. I'll have to hide! <laughs> Yo. I'm a bit of a freak. I bet can smell. How do they? You hear a rustling noise from the room next to you. Shh. Get ready. You can do this. You do it. <laughs> Stanford moves to hide near the south exit of the room. He gives you a thumbs up. Oh, that's cute. Flame encouraging. You take a, de a deep breath and attempt to ignore how frazzling the past, what? However many minutes of your life has been. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm sorry. You sit down the bait and find a dark corner to hide in. Dip ship. <laughs> there it is! The eye bet enters from the west and pitters around the room, scanning the area with... The light radiating it from itself. This was in Weird Mageddon. Really? Yeah. They're like, when they would look at you, you would turn into stone, remember? Oh. Oh, we're cooked. Both you and Stanford shrink down in an effort to not be seen. Wish, wish. The iPad has taken notice of the magazine. Uh oh. Go, 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 go! Okay. It seems to really like She's it. She's rubbing herself against it. Oh, this bitch is weird. This is really weird to watch. <laughs> Just get it. Hurry up. But this is also my chance. Quickly. What am I going to do? Cast low, middle, or high. High. Let's save so we don't make a mistake. Yeah. Come back. High. Stanford said I'd need to cast high enough. Putting your full faith in Stanford's advice and reeling back like you were fishing for an actual fish... You cast the trap in the air with your might. With all your might. All? Yo, it soars up high. I get Kerplunk. It. Too high. What? Are you jorking my meat right now? The box hits the ceiling, attracting the eyeball's gaze. The box crashes back down and hits you, almost as if it were attached via a rope to something you were holding. I bet stares at you for a second. Hey. 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 How y'all doing? No! The I bet takes off into the air, flies around in a frenzy, bouncing around the room and knocking over all in its path. 
Your ears fill with the sounds of it thudding against walls and objects at high speed. I was no. Do you want to just go back and I do, do it again? I do back. That was. <laughs> he told me to cast high. He did. Yes, he said cast high. He was like, oh, "I need to cast high enough." How much? Should we do to- try middle? Yeah, I'm gonna try middle. Okay. Stanford said I'd need to cast high enough. But we are indoors after all. This should be high enough, right? Cast your trap with sufficient arc, but without it being overkill, like the Goldilocks of box fishing. The trajectory appears perfect. The box is closing in on its target. Ha! Huh. Why would you do that, you dumbass? Wow. It's almost like nothing we do is right. But well, let's, let's just see. Out loud. Don't say things out loud. Damn! Oh Eyeball turns god. its focus towards you, beaming you with light, with its light in his eyes. Oh my god. JESUS! <laughs> the flare of the eye bat blinds you, and your grip on the trap fails. Bold! Bold! It lands just short of the eye bat, making a loud yet pathetic series of flapping noises. I'm gonna leave, right? God. Whoosh. I think that happens either way, because look, you can skip again. So it- I don't know. Let's try it though. There we go. Its head it heads in the direction of Stanford who swiftly ducks under its flight path. It's filling its wings appear to clip something on its way out. Stanford. Yikes. You can no longer see anything. Judging by the sound of the crash, something very large and heavy fell over. Run towards the south exit of the room. Your path is completely blocked by something. The sounds of the iBat's frantic crashing turns muffled and grow further in the distance. Stanford, can you hear me? Are you okay? He, okay. Hear a muffled voice start to call out. Randy! Randy, can you hear me? <laughs> He's okay. Stanford, are you alright? I'm fine. It appears one of my bookshelves fell over. We're not going to be able to move it in any sort of timely manner. But time is of the essence. We can't have Iris causing any further damage down here. What should we do? Head for the entrance? We'll surround her from both sides there. I won't be able to accompany you back, but surely you've been making a map of my lab in your head, correct? Hell no. no. We haven't, actually. No. No. I... Excellent! Quickly now. We've no time to waste. You hear the sound of Stanford taking off running. Memory, don't me now. We're gonna stop here. <laughs> Hello, my loves. I'm Degenerate, and welcome to 80s Ford Sim. Uh, lately, I've been watching, you know, Gravity Falls again because it's getting popular. So I decided to play the game, and today I have a special guest. Wait. Get it! Walk in. I'm walking in. <laughs> now you sit on the ottoman this time. Ugh. Yeah. You gonna knock down all my stuff? Um. Get all the way in. You have to be really close. It's Brie. Look at this live IRL Brie. It's me, guys. Lovely. It's Brie. Okay. Your breath stinks. No one does it. Shut up. Move. Not in the video. No. Yeah. Anyways, that was like I guess part one of it. She's probably gonna play the rest of it by herself later. I just wanted to have her in the video because she wanted to play it anyway. So if you guys enjoyed it. A like would be very much appreciated, and of course, subscribe for more, of maybe of this by myself. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my loves.